Clever game plan. An inside attack systematically shutting down pieces of my operation. Should I have the slightest idea what you're talking about? I just got off the phone with Paris. You sold the Normandy property out from under me. Why would I do that? For the same reason you would freeze my Swiss accounts. Are you sure uh, this is my doing, are you? No. Who else would have done it? Well, as opposed to, say, uh, um, your own incompetence and neglect? You know better than that. It says your name written all over it. What you seem to forget is that you've been skating on thin ice for quite a while now. Maybe it's beginning to break up underneath you. Yeah, because you've been chipping away at it. Go ahead, chip all you like. I knew this was coming sooner or later. I don't care what you do. I'm untouchable. Really? I'm surprised to hear that. What makes you so different from the rest of the world? I've got nothing left to lose. I wonder if you have any sense of how disappointed I am in you, Robert. Not that you care, but I had the highest hopes for you in the beginning. You remember when I found you were a small-time crook with a big-time dream? I opened up the world to you. I, I showed you what was out there, what you could take. I put things within your grasp, and I stretched your reach so you could get them. I was proud of you, Robert, at first. You were like a son to me. But the trouble is, you never really had what it takes. You turned out to be weak and fallible like all the rest. You had it all, and you threw it away. You threw away an empire on that... Capwell woman. And it didn't even end up with her. What, what poetic irony. Well, come New Year's Eve, you'll be celebrating in some flea bag of a hotel with a cheap bottle of whiskey and no woman at all. Because you won't even be able to pay for one. I don't buy companionship. I don't have to. You see, the things I value don't have a price. That's why you'll never be able to touch me again.